today we're going to talk you through some of the problems that arise with regards to thread tension on your sewing machines. Thread tension is when you either have a pinning, so as you can see here my bottom thread is white and the top thread is navy and the navy is just coming through there or you might have lots of loops and people often wonder what is or how is the thread tension being affected now i've dismantled this part of my machine and i don't advocate that you do that on your machine but every machine is exactly the same in so much as it has these tension discs here can you see i'm just moving it with my hand now at this moment in time the presser foot is raised but when we lower the presser foot if you just watch here you can see those two tension discs because there's one on the other side clamp together and they effectively clamp hold of your thread and allow it to be brought through the machine in a in a manner that will allow the stitches to be perfect so i'm just going to do that again so i'm going to raise the presser foot can you see the tension discs are open and close that and the tension discs close now you might wonder why do i have to worry about the the various tension and that is because we're using different thicknesses particularly when we're introducing things like the vlieseline styleville or the styleville fix or you may introduce your waddings your vlieseline 279 cotton wadding or you could even be talking about the eco 150 or the r80 which is the 100 percent recycled polyester wadding now to in, in order to get a really good um sewing stitch there's a couple of rules and i really want you to abide by these rules so what i'm going to do is i'm going to raise the presser foot which has opened the tension discs now when people are sewing they have a real habit of when they're changing the thread to get hold of your thread and pull it backwards you should never do that you must always ensure that your thread goes through the machine and comes out through the needle so before you change your thread cut that here and then pull your thread through the needle. What that will do is it will ensure that there's no friction or damage caused to those um, tension discs there. So what we've talked about here, this is the upper tension. Now the upper tension can be altered and don't be frightened to alter your upper tension. It may be that you're doing some gathering. It may be that when you're stitching, if you can see that your bottom thread or your top thread is coming through to the back. Now, whilst I advocate altering the top tension, I really don't advocate that you alter the bottom tension. Now, this is a bottom bobbin case, and as you can see, there's a little screw here on the side. Now, if you're using a speciality thread, so you may have um, speciality thread in the bottom bobbin, buy yourself a separate bobbin case, because with that, you can alter it. If you're just doing general sewing, please don't alter your bottom tension. And the reason for that is that the alteration is absolutely minuscule and I therefore recommend if you have problems with your bottom tension, you need to consider when was the last time you had your machine serviced and take it to a qualified service engineer and get it serviced. When a stitch is formed, this is the bottom bobbin, and as you can see, I've got white in my hand, and this is my upper thread, so that's your top stitching, and that's a dark navy. Now, a stitch is formed by the needle going down and picking up the bottom thread, and so therefore, it's quite difficult often to get no top thread coming through on the back. So consider getting two threads that are similar in tones and that will avoid that from a visual point of view. But in conclusion, if you're playing around with your tension, just grab a small piece of fabric, get yourself a piece of H640, a piece of the Vlieseline 279 waddings or any of the waddings out the range and just have a little practice and you will be able to see where you're happy with your tension. But usually, your machine will either have a black uh, box surrounding the factory setting for the tension or a disc which will be on the front of your machine and the tension is normally between three and five and is usually marked with either a red or a black line. As you can see, Vlieseline has a wide range of products, each with different properties and benefits for your projects. You can view the whole range on the Vlieseline website 
where you can download the brochure which has detailed information on all of the products across our four categories. You can also join the conversation with us on our Facebook page, Creative Community Group and Instagram. All of the details are below.